Next I'll show you how to apply the earthen plaster. Before we get right down to applying it, we need to wet our surface. Uh, anytime you're working with uh, earthen plaster, it's good to wet your surface so that the dry surface doesn't pull the moisture out of the plaster too fast and create um, a division between the plaster and your surface. This way it'll dry slowly and all together and you'll have a good bond. So we just use a regular garden sprayer or you can use a trombone sprayer and just lightly mist it down. If you have any dry plaster where you worked on other days, make sure you wet that down so that it can make a good connection. The only tool necessary for this layer is your hands. Uh, there will be a total of two layers on this building. Because it's light clay straw, if you, if you were doing a straw bale building, you would first have to put a layer that got some clay onto the straw to help make it stick and help get that straw ready to adhere to your plaster. In this case, the light clay straw is straw dipped in clay. It for, forms the insulation. So just wetting it down gets that clay ready to adhere to the plaster. So then you just take a handful and smear it on. There are some places that need a little bit more working it in if you have a hole or if the straw is a little bit loose and then just smear over it. In this area it's generally pretty hard and not very many holes. The easiest situation to work with. And it goes pretty fast. No power tools so if you're doing it with other people you can talk with them no noise distraction. So one of the great things about earthen plaster is that it's really forgiving. If, if you try to put it on the wall and it starts coming off, you can add other things to it. Maybe it has too much sand, maybe it has too much clay, depending on how your soil is and how you mixed it up. Maybe it's too dry, maybe it's too wet. You can always fix it. In this case, my bucket of plaster was a little too dry. It's been sitting around for a few days, so I just added some water, and now the application is really easy. Um, the other nice thing, unlike a cement-based stucco, is that it dries rather than sets, so there's not a chemical reaction happening. You don't have a race with the clock. You can work at your own pace. Um, and also, with the earthen plaster, it doesn't dry your hands out, which is why you don't have to wear gloves to apply it. can be pretty meditative. You end up touching every part of your wall inside and out if you do plaster inside as well and you get to know your home pretty well. So that's all there is to the first layer of earthen plaster. I still have a second coat that I'm going to do to help protect the building even further from the elements. Um, now that you have an overview of how to do earthen plaster, the best thing to do is try it out yourself, get your hands dirty, and see if you like it. That was unexpected. <laughs> hey, Cal, what are you doing? <laughs>